Hello, this is a Hall of Fame film. In his AMX ELC bits from the European server, it's Winianka. And we are in Malinovka encounter mode, East Spawn. Have three enemy or three artillery on each side, two scouts on the enemy team, three on his. Both teams have a large contingent of TDs with a couple heavies and one medium apiece. Pretty evenly matched teams overall. Not a lot of mobility overall outside the scouts. The enemy team is probably a little bit more mobile because two of their TDs are Hellcats. He's taken a aggressive early position. And wipes the heads are out. It's only a tier 6 fight, so this is like about as good as it gets for an ELC. Two kills already, and it's not even a minute into the battle. <laughs> Don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from. Just watch. And again, I, I never see the films before I comment on them, but I do know the medals they earned and their XP and all that, so I kind of have an idea of how well they did. I just don't know how they went about doing it until I watched the film, and I watched that for the first time just like you guys know. Ooh, kill number three. Nope, he threw out. He wanted to shoot before the guy went over out of view and ended up not aiming in all the way. It wasn't close. And the Artie is after him now. <laughs> That's two out of the three Artie just shot at him. His team has a uh, um, very unique deployment which appears to be let's just all sit where we started and hope we can see something they haven't really moved at all that has to be kind of disheartening to him you'd expect people to move somewhere I mean one heavy moved a little forward one heavy moved to the hill and it's like everybody else is like come on guys the game started I don't know if he's stalking the KV-2 right now or what, but man, he is intent on just watching something up there, waiting for something to appear. I really think he is waiting on the KV-2. He wants that KV-2 out of there, because it can blow him up in one round. takes a blind shot and doesn't hit. Well, now at least the Artie has said enough of this camping, we're going to go fight. <laughs> it's pretty bad when the Artie's the most aggressive tank on your team. Kill number three. He knows the two Hellcats are sitting over here in the uh, C and D5 area. Somebody's behind. 
Must be the T50, is that what hit him? Yep. No surprise somebody would have circled around behind him because nobody bothered to look south at all. T-50's coming in on the Artie, he's going to be focused on the Artie and that should allow Winnie Anka to move in here and get a good shot from this one. Kill number four. Five on five now. Two Hellcats and three Arties versus two Artie, a light, a medium, and a TD. Cats are sitting close to each other. Well, it looks like they were spreading out. They made a mistake. They should have stayed back where they were. It would have made much more sense for the Hellcats to stay back where they were at and stay together and provide spots and so. Winnianka's team move closer to them because they have three Artie back there that are going to be easy pickings once these Hellcats get killed. Kill number five. Four tanks to go. Trouble is, now it's two on four. And Winniak is doing what the Hellcats should have done, and that's get close to the Artie. Uh, I'm going to have to shoot quick, and he gets it. He beat the guy to the draw and stays alive. Kill number six. Three tanks to go. I was about to say, Winniak was smart and went back to be within range of his artillery, close to the artillery. And that's what the Hellcats should have done when it was just them and three artillery. They should have stayed over there fairly close and been able to spot for their artillery as, as Winnianka's team probably would have moved over that way to figure out where they all were. But they got aggressive at the wrong time and now they're probably going to lose the fight because of it. Now what he's trying to do is not without risk because he has a fairly long reload and he's not going to be able to one-shot these guys unless they're already hurt. Now that was good. Two of them fired at him so the trouble is he doesn't know which two. <laughs> it would help to know which two. He's like, okay Artie, come on, help me out. Now all three of them has fired. I don't know if he's counted shots but all three of them had fired at him. The trouble is, two of those French L CDs are, excuse me, artillery, they reload so fast it doesn't really matter that much. As you can see, they can just try to pepper them. <laughs> Goodbye, helmet. Kill number seven. The reloads on those things are amazing fast. And remember that whenever you go up against one. If you see it fire and think, okay, I have 15, 20 seconds to move in on it, nope, no you don't. <laughs> you just have a very short time until it's popping another round at you. Lots of time left. He's asking his artillery to cap, which isn't a bad idea. But 
his teammate I don't think even understands what cat means. He's parked where he's at and I think he's going to stay there. Oh, he's going to move farther up the hill. It really would be nice of him to go down and get on cap. You can go there where it dips down into that little gully area. Force the enemy artillery to try to find him or at least fire and hopefully give away their position. Ah, so they're going to go cap. That's not the smartest idea in the world. Okay, there the one guy is. Shoot, well, oh. Now get away. Yay, allied artillery to the rescue. But now if this last already stays on cap, he's just crazy. He should have used the time it's going to take Winianka to get here to escape to the other side of the map and set up in a bush where he could observe the cap and hopefully be able to reduce it to a one-on-one. -on -one. And now he's looking the wrong way and he's going to die. This is ooh, don't don't hit Winnie. <laughs> This is going to be his 8th kill, and it's going to give him a Radley Walters medal. And a Top Gun. So let's just re review his performance stats right now. He had 1,730 damage and 8 kills. 13 of 17 shooting, which is 76%. Got 2,854 spotting damage and 13 spots, because hey, this is Mally, and if you don't get spots and spotting damage in a scout on Mali then either you didn't do it right or your team was brain dead which happens and they, you get great spots and they don't take advantage of it but in this case they did help him out with damage assisted damage 52,067 credits he had one giant cat point I think he's a stat whore 37 defense points XP wise 2688 XP survived the fight got Radley Walters top gun scout and patrol duty medals and then he got fire for effect spotter duelist and bruiser mini medals and it gives him 2808 points for his battle score it is going to be in third place overall he was a little bit different than most scouts because he went up here and kind of stayed in the open a little bit and uh, got away with it, which mm, I wouldn't recommend doing what you just saw him do there very often, especially if you have competent scouts on the enemy team. You're probably not going to get away with that a lot, but in this case, it worked. Nobody on his team went anywhere at first. That was kind of bizarre, and it ended up almost costing him because he was up in this area spotting and shooting at these tanks and as he started to turn his attention down here T-50 came in this way and was able to light him up and take a shot at him but the T-50 went for Artie instead of him and that was a bad choice because you know the moment you shoot him he's going to start thinking about you and if then he sees you're moving on towards Artie and not ignoring him you're going to die that's exactly what happened if he wanted to just go for Artie, the T-50 I'm talking about, he should have passed up the shot on Winnianka because that gave his relative position away. It let Winnianka know that there was somebody to the south of him. So if he wanted to go in and take out Artie, he should have not 
fired and given away his lo not his location but his relative location gone over and taken out the arty and by that time Winnie couldn't have come help so you kind of you don't want to give away your position if you're trying to sneak behind lines so he kind of blew that but in the end it came down to Winnie Anka trying to out locate three artillery he had the help of a of an M41 who actually did help and got a kill on the one French arty and helped him out big time then he went down and the last guy sitting on cap once again <laughs> I can't say it enough if you're sitting on cap the enemy knows where you're at if they're sitting on cap you know where they're at and you can be extra sneaky then and come in from an angle they're not going to expect and be almost guaranteed to have a good shot with no chance of the enemy tank shooting back at you so if it's down to you against a bunch of people you against one other person whatever don't get on cap you're giving a huge advantage away to the enemy if you do that and you just saw yet again somebody gets on cap and they die because they did their times to cap but when it's a close fight at the end of the battle that ain't the time to do it from Malinovka in counter mode west east spawn happy hunting